and sweet water authority. Mr. Lawton. Thank you. Uh, good evening, Mayor and Council. Thank you, City Manager. Happy to be here to uh, talk about one of my favorite subjects, water. Um, on the background of the slide, the uh, PowerPoint, they call that Calm Sea. But that's not why I'm here tonight to talk about calmness in the water business. As you know, by reading the paper, it's a very complex and dynamic uh, sub subject. And I plan to just hit the high points in a few minutes tonight. Jumping right in, um, this is a, I won't go down the list, but this is a listing of the <coughs> County Water Authority's water supplies. And you can see at the bottom, with a spot transfer for this uh, 19, or 2008 water year, we do have a, a pretty good picture. Um, one of the things I'd like to point out is the Colorado River transfer, which is called the QSA on this slide. And uh, you've heard about the transfer. That's really a lifesaver for this community. It's been an absolute um, lifesaver to have that much water and an increasing supply. So, so far this year looks to be, quote, a normal water year. Although we do have some uh, deficits until we get spot, spot water transfers. Uh, the picture for the years 2009, 10, and 11 aren't so rosy, and there's some delta problems and other things that I'll talk about. Uh, uncertainties, obviously. The Colorado River is on the top of the list, uh, QSA transfers, etc. However, uh, there's no more surplus on the river, and this community in the past, when I say this community, but all of Southern California, have uh, lived on surplus on the Colorado River for forever, for the last uh, 75 years. Now that's gone. Nevada's taking their full entitlement, Arizona, et cetera. So we are very much constrained. And I, I don't have a lot of numbers and things here tonight because of the brevity of my comments. The Bay Delta, we're going to talk about that. Uh, Colorado River has a lot of storage. It's been in drought eight years. But the Bay Delta doesn't have a lot of storage. It's a very variable supply. A lot of environmental issues, which we'll talk about, uh, levee issues, earthquake, uh, judicial limits that we've never had before, which I'll talk about. And uh, on the Delta, we really need a endangered species. We really need to get busy and address and stabilize the environmental issues. Conservation, you've probably heard about the 20-gallon challenge. I wanted to mention that tonight. In that slide, and you'll have copies of these slides, but in that slide for the County Water Authority, we show 56,000 acre feet of conservation that we're looking for. Don't underestimate how difficult that will be. Um, the Water Authority is really going to ramp up that program, Otai Sweetwater, which we'll hear from tonight. And we're right in the middle of that program. It's the right thing to do, and even if we don't have a water shortage, uh, do we really need to be putting 84 inches of water on our lawns here? So it's really an ethic as well of using water, our precious resource, in a good way. So I would encourage you on the um, Otay uh, Dub or the San Diego County Water Authority, click on that and sign up for the 20-gallon uh, challenge. You'll get some uh, emails and periodic updates. Uh, is this in our future? Uh, we have a media alert uh, predicted there from Long Beach. Some people have kind of jumped the gun, I think, and gone into a mandatory. Um, it may be coming, but I think with 2008, uh, we're going to avoid that. But uh, building moratoriums, water efficient landscape, I mean, these are all going to be discussions that will be occurring over this year. They're going to be difficult discussions, particularly for our community that does have some growth ahead of it and some other features. And so the picture is the water patrol. You know, are we going to be looking over people's fences to see what they're uh, doing with that? Just to focus on the Bay Delta, I wanted to make a point tonight that Southern California isn't the only place that gets water from the Bay Delta. You have the Bay Area and Kern County, <coughs> excuse me, that also receive water from the Delta. We put some percentages up there. And I'll give you one example, Santa Clara, which is at the end of uh, in the Bay Area, uh, the south end is 100% dependent on the delta. So when they talk about a delta being cut off, Santa Clara is square in the crosshairs of that. It's kind of a popular notion that it's only Southern California that suffers from that. I wanted to uh, just briefly show you this uh, depiction of the, San of the uh, California Bay Delta. You have the Sacramento River that comes through. The bottom you have the state water project pumps and the, and the uh, uh, federal <coughs> pumps, CVP pumps. So the state water pump water pumps are where we get our water. So you can see there's a couple that take from there. The Sacramento River is a big contributor. You can see how it kind of squiggles through that Bay Delta area, all the levees that we talk about, the Delta Smelt, which I'll show you a picture of, lives there. 
Uh, San Joaquin River comes in from the east. Less water quality. You know, we have some water quality issues there, also some environmental issues. Um, Sacramento River, the West Delta, at certain times of the year, at certain pumping, you start drawing water in from the Bay Delta, and, or from the Bay Area, so you have some water quality issues. Again, issues with the Delta smelt. Again, I apologize for skipping over this so quickly, but in the, in the, um, with the time allotted, I wanted to be sure to hit these high points. <clears throat> so all of these users that I depicted earlier have the same issues, environmental uh, issues, the deficient canals, the levees, the political issues are right in the middle. I mean, it's just fraught with difficulties. Uh, and then, of course, uh, there's, there's general, the central canals when we're running those pumps where a lot of the water gets wrong. So you can see how complex or mixed up the system is and why when we talk about some future bond issues we're really looking for at around the delta or a conveyance or whatever you want to call it. It used to be called peripheral canal. We don't call it that anymore, and the actual peripheral canal alignments aren't available, but it's some kind of a delta conveyance that we're looking for. Um, this is Martin, where California... Mr. Martin, I don't want you to speed through this. You go ahead and take your time okay. so that you're not out of breath by the time you're done. <laughs> okay. it's just, this is an incredibly important topic for yeah. us, so I appreciate you condensing your presentation. On the other hand, we, we really do need to hear what you say. Okay, I appreciate that, and we have a... Uh, uh, facility or a, a way to meet with the city and we can explore a lot of this in more detail or depth on the interagency if you know if we get that opportunity. But I wanted to show you where California water policy is being made today for the Bay, Bay Delta. This happens to be a picture of a federal courtroom. So a lot of the things that are going on that are, are happening in the Delta and the things that we're having to react to are being made here now. And it's all around the Endangered Species Act and uh, some of the environmental issues that, are, that we're facing. And it, it's sad to say that um, on the state, the Department of Water Resources didn't have all the permits that they may should have had. <coughs> you know, they didn't have all the I's dotted T's crossed. Uh, there's certain segments of uh, interest groups that take you to federal court. You get called up short, and now we're facing a reduction. 